Hello everyone, today we are going to understand how you can extract the data from a website. It's not a basically a data, we are extracting URLs from a specific website. I'm showing you, you the demonstrations, what is all about and what I'm saying. Okay, so let's suppose this is a website. If you see Excel macro webs, apps and videos, this is a website. So it contains multiple videos. If you see index, mass, some product, find, left and so on. So these are the functions video actually. And we want for every video there has a specific path, specific URL, and it's been kept on this particular web page. And I want that specific URLs will be captured, will be extracted through my automations or through my macros. So let's see how it can be possible through Excel macros. Uh, I'm opening my Excel sheet. I'm going to VBA data, pressing Alt F11 inserting module over here but before that I am adding two libraries as I already told you uh, the first would be Microsoft Internet Control and the second would be HTML object library which I have told you in my previous vi uh, video where we have extracted FANAS related data so if you haven't seen if you haven't viewed that particular video would request you to please go through that one so where you can understand late binding and early binding concepts as well so I'm, I'm searching that particular library so for that I'm pressing M so it's it will make, take me on a Microsoft and over here I have to choose Microsoft Internet Controls so I'm pressing M again okay the first would be Microsoft HTML object library I have selected it and the second is Microsoft Internet Control this is the one I've selected both the libraries pressing OK inserting module over here and I'm creating a sub procedure sub extract uh, URL from website whatever the name you want to give it so first of all as I already told you I'm, I'm following the early, bi early binding concept so for that um, initialize a variable set IE is equals to new Internet Explorer. The second variable will be like dim doc. Again, I have taken doc. You can take as if you want any other variable. It's up to you. As HTML doc document. These are the things I have already told you. What is all about? So I'll not uh, stress about these words. Uh, the third will be I need to visible my internet explorer so for that i'm mentioning oe dot visible is equals to true and i want to navigate something so for that i'm mentioning ie dot navigate and over here i'll mention my uh, the website so let's suppose this is a website so i'm taking its path and putting it over there so this is a site next I want after doing this I want my page gets loaded so for that I'm mentioning do do events loop until my ie dot ready state state is equals to ready state r e a d y s d a t e underscore com okay so this is the code which makes uh, my web page would be uploaded perfectly so for that I'm taking one more uh, object I'm saying set doc is equals to ie dot document if you want to initialize it on a top of that you can also mention this thing like this way that's not a big deal uh, rest what okay so right now we have to extract elements okay so in our last video we have extracted it through ID and in this video we'll extract it to tag name so for that I'm mentioning set uh, variable name let's suppose I'll taking output output is equals to 
dot dot get element by id it's not id by tag name tag name would be a i'm just showing it to you what i'm doing as of now okay i'm making it minimize for a moment and right clicking go view source view page source yes exactly so if you see this is the entire source which is again built in javascript or html something like that okay so in this particular page i do have few url for my videos and i want that will be extracted so if you see like this way so this is the one on path okay this is meant for if you see network day work days excel functions so this is a specific path for, to execute or uh, network day or work day function so same way like i would be having few others as well uh, let's check okay i'm making it copy so i think up to this path will be main same this particular id would be uh, change okay i'm finding this one once again finding okay so if you see this is the see this is meant for index and match okay i'm again finding something this is meant for some product same way this is meant for f uh, find left rim okay so these are the urls okay so if you see we have used a tag a mean to say anchor tag these are the path these are the urls that we have to extract through automations okay so how it would be possible so again reaching on my automations so again this is my uh vb automations so now we need to extract each and every path from that particular web source page so for that i am using a loop a loop would be for each loop so for that i am using for each link in output output mean to say what if you see i am extracting a tag value and putting into output output is again object so i didn't initialize it so far so again i am initializing dim output as object okay so started for i'm making it next as well so and i'm saying range okay and i want my url should be kept on this particular sheet starting from a1 till end so i'm saying uh, range a1 dot value is equals to link but i can't make it constant a1 just because i would be having multiple path a1 a2 a3 and so on i want it should be come like this way so for that i can use one more thing i'm making it a and i so i'm taking i as a one i is equals to one and i'm saying i is equals to i plus one a2 a3 a4 and so on so forth okay next i have already mentioned and after completing the entire structure i want my e ie should be quit or again if you want to make it it's uh, buffering clear then you can mention ie dot nothing up to you and if you want you can mention mention message box as well like message box done or extracted all the urls and something like that so i've already mentioned end step so i don't think so anything else would be required okay you can also use uh, error handling as well like some time it's happen is the web page not just uploaded perfectly or something like that few apis would restrict you not to open your page correctly so for that you can use own error resume next or any other handling message uh, method as well but i don't think so there would be having any issue as of now so i'm running this code so let's see what's been going on over there so reaching over there or you can 
close this thing insert a button like I'm inserting a button as well I'm mentioning extract URL okay so let's suppose this is the button and I'm assigning my macro to this particular button assign macro yes okay and I'm going to click over there so let's see if everything's work fine or not it's clicking it's been failed method documents object i web browser to fail so let's see what's been happening over there okay i think uh, the api is not been allowing me to open my web browser so i'm doing one more thing over here i can mention on error resume next i think it will work let me check it i'm closing this thing async yes it's been opening yes it's been extracted and we do have all the urls if you check see these are all the urls which we have discussed some product left right mid name wildcard we look up part one we look up part two and so on and so forth so i think you have enjoyed this video you have learned thank you so much for watching have a nice day